going on YouTube? This is Jim 97 again. We're back for another review. Uh, we got a pretty cool uh, tool here, and um, it's called uh, the Avid. It's the Avid brand, AR15 Armors Master Kit. Okay, if you own an AR15, okay, which is um, that shoots 556, 223. Um, no, that's an AR10. Uh, a 300 blackout because it's the same similarity for shooting a, um, an AR-15 platform. Okay, so you can shoot a 300 blackout, AR, uh, 556, 223. I think I'm missing one more. I think. Um, anyhow, you can use this kit. Okay, <clears throat> if you have one of those AR-15 rifles, you have to have this kit, and it's really, really recommended. It has everything you need and you don't have to worry about buying part by part by part and buying tool by tool by tool and building up in your bag to have a full set this has literally everything that you need okay so let's go ahead and get dive out close and i'll show you what all these tools are and what they do okay catch you guys in a bit okay <clears throat> so here we are okay so this is my first time doing it uh well this is like my second time doing it i just never done it again but i'm gonna do it this side okay so this time the camera is facing this way and Hope you guys can see all this okay so here's the avid a ar-15 master uh, armors master kit all the tools needed to build or customize an ar-15 okay advanced master grade tools plus detailed gun diy or just do it yourself instructions to customize your ar-15 all the tools you need to install or uninstall magazine release bulge catch uh, safety selector pistol grip uh, trigger group, trigger guard, buffer tube, castle nut, fixed stock receiver extension, end plate, uh, takedown pin, uh, buffer assembly, forward assist, barrel, gas tube, gas block, hand guard, flash, flash suppressor, uh, bolt gas rings, bolt extractor, bolt ejector, uh, charging handle, latch, and pivot pin. Okay, so that's what it shows here on front. In the back shows you this okay uh, there's a lot of details here okay we got the we got the master wrench here smart fit vice block we got the lug uh, lug lock upper vice block which is this stick here um, this one here is the AR-15 bench block AR-15 punch set for this okay so it shows you a little diagram in the back all right let's get to it <clears throat> open the sucker up So it, ha it has these nice latches here, real nice. And voila, okay. All right, so I wanna start to left to right, okay. All right, for this side here, here's your wrench. Oh man, it's in there, it's brand new. Okay. It's kind of hard for me to take out. There it goes. Okay, so here's your master wrench. Okay, here's your D ring here to do your stock to your all the way to your um, not this one, this one. Uh, your stock to your lower receiver. Here's your other D, uh, here's your other ring here for the uh, for the front for the barrel. We got your brass. You got your. This is nylon. This is like rubber, this is nylon, this is brass. So you got different sizes here. And I believe you just unscrew it. Yeah, you just unscrew them. As in so. Let's see if I want to use this rubber here. I want to hammer on something. You can put it right here. And you can whack away, okay? That's nice, really, really nice, okay? That way you don't lose it. Okay, moving on up. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this back before I end up losing it. There we go. Okay, so over here, this is your your pivot your pivot pin tool kit. Okay, you know how you work on your little receivers and you got the the detents and all that stuff. When you remove it, the spring will fly out if you don't hold carefully. Or you, you, some people use their fingers. Some people use a flat hat. Some people use a little piece of wood or uh, a, a little. Um, um, you know, uh, a pike, you know, something to hold in place without it flying. Well, this comes out in three pieces. So here's one, 
here's two and three pieces so you so you hold, you use this to slide this in okay to hold it in and you once you able to slide this in to hold it in place okay you put the new one in and you pull this out and you're good to go okay real nice tool okay put that back before i lose it put your ass in there okay so this one here this one here is a master's benches block you can do a lot of things here okay you got your lower receiver here your bolt okay you can do uh lower receiver over here lower receiver front sides you can put your pin storage here for your pins upper receiver goes here it's a whole bunch of things you can use as this charging handle goes here if you want to do something with it, you put your charger here and here it goes here the front goes here the back goes here and you want to tweak it or what you want to do to fix it okay awesome touch this one here is for a vice your vice is down you hold it then you vice it down you put your ar-15 without the magazine you put on top of this so it holds your whole entire ar in the air so you can work on it and not only that you can adjust it too that's pretty cool for your for your mat for your mat mag, mag catch okay real real nice i like that this is your flag indicator when you pull the barrel back you throw it in there that way you and you close the bolt that way you know that there's no ammo in there's not around in the chamber this is a flag pretty much about it there's another one here this one's a pivot lock okay so you know how you take out your your ar-15 if you want to work on your um your bolt carrier or your latch uh, uh or uh, and uh your charging handle what you do is you you take off your rear not the front but the rear pin pull out lift it up you stick it down you stick this down in there you put the pin back inside there slide this and it will hold the ar-15 so you say your ar-15 here you want to you want to work on the the board of the charging handle and in the upper you just open like that not the front but the back of, of the pin of the back of the ar-15 you pull it up you stick this in here and hold it in place and you close it back down and you and that way and you latch it onto it that way you can work on your 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 bolt or your charging handle and whatnot on the upper okay that's what this is for pretty nice tool okay moving on up to this side okay this is your torque wrench right here okay a little nice touch i don't know why i was out there okay so it tells you how much torque you need yeah this way sorry i'm looking at the camera to make sure see so it tells you how much torque you you're putting on when you're using this tool here to, to, to torque things down come on get your butt in there sit up and down oh no okay this is right here this is your handguard removal tool okay so this is the guard you know on the on the very at the at the bottom of the barrel at the very end they have a d-ring on it okay well you put this on and you remove you put this on and when you remove the d-ring you can move the handguard from your ar-15 okay that's what this tool is for no don't worry about that over here we got your punch set okay to mark things out okay over here where you got your uh, pick set and last but not least one of my favorites this right here okay this is a lug lock vice block well vice glock okay so when you take when you open your receiver on top you stick this in okay this is when you this is only for working on your upper receiver you stick this in you put this on the vice block you take this red part out here okay and this goes inside where the barrel goes in uh, where the bullet goes into the barrel you stick it in so hold it in place you take this and you stick it here it goes in a freaking hole you stick it in there so that way it doesn't flop move around anything like that if you're working on your um your upper say you want to put scopes on it you want to put a red dot you want to put your iron sights and all that and you want something to hold it up the uh, the upper in place while you're working on it this is the this is it right here really nice feature nice cool it has everything you need here awesome awesome so then did i miss anything else i think that's it 
Yep, I think that's it. You punch that. Got a little tweezer here. Nice punch set. Over here we got more punch sets here. Okay, real nice, real nice. I like it. Has everything you need. Whoa. Did I do it right? This stuff is brand new. I'll go this way then. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. So let's go back to FaceTime and uh, go from there. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So we're back. So, real nice tool. Has everything you need to work on your Air 15 in and out. Whoops. I really like it. Um, this thing here is about. 200 something i forgot exactly the price i think it was like 200 and 230 200 200 i bought this at primary arms uh it was like 236 256 somewhere rough around there just a, just uh like uh a little over uh, 200 dollars no more than 300 dollars for this okay it's a really nice tool so if you guys have an ar-15 grab yourself a tool set you don't know what about buying this and this and this and putting it in the bag. You got everything you need here. Okay, everything you need here. Okay, so that's all I have for the review for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please ask away. I will add the links to the bottom uh, for this if you guys want one. Okay, through Primary Arms, I'll link it up there on the very bottom of the video. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for right now. So until then, peace out. And uh, I have more products coming up, so hang on tight for those videos coming up. Okay, until then, later.